Hey, it's Connor here at ES in Barcelona and recently I took some time to rewrite my purpose statement. Uh, my purpose statement I've written down the updated version this year is my purpose is to inspire and challenge others to do the best work of their lives and I've been reflecting on what does it take for someone to do the best work of their lives. I, I hope each of you takes some time every couple of years to, to write down in a couple of words what is your purpose and write down a phrase that is inspiring to you. It doesn't mean you need to share it, but I think one of our first duties as leaders is to get clear on, on what is our purpose. And what I have written down is my purpose is to inspire and challenge others to do the most important work of their lives. And through these videos, through my work in Vistage, through my teaching here at ESA, through the conferences that I give, through all of my activity, deep down what I want to be doing is, is encouraging people to take responsibility for this one life that you get and use it for something valuable. Not something valuable for someone else, something valuable to you that has meaning to you. And I think there's four ingredients that have to be in your life for you to be doing the best work of your life. Number one, you gotta be working on something important. Working on something that's important to you. Making sure that what you're working on, the way you're working, the company you're in, the job you have, connects to something that really matters to you. And sometimes the work is not in changing the job, it's really doing the work and connecting to who you are and how you show who you are through the work that you're called to do. So the first is, is work on important problems. The second is surround yourself with people that inspire you, people that challenge you, people that help you grow. Make sure that day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, you're finding great people to, to have around you. And not just around you in, in where you're working, but with books, you can fill your mind with the role models of great people. So put great people in your life, and they don't have to be physical people around you. With books, with videos, with mentors, you can surround yourself with great people without having to get up from where you are right now. The third thing of working on important problems is you gotta learn to sell. You gotta learn to communicate. Even scientists, even Nobel Prize winning scientists have to learn to sell their ideas. If you don't know how to sell your ideas, if you don't know how to encourage others to come towards you, to give of their best to you, you might be able to do the best work, but it's gonna be a very small work. The type of work that we need to do today needs many people in order to really overcome the complexity of the challenges. The problems of life today require teams. And you've got to learn to sell, you've got to learn to cooperate, you've got to learn to communicate in a way that you can engage others and make this important work not just be something that you're working on, but something that you bring others and make it a cause. The fourth aspect of being someone that is doing the most important work of your life is to learn to play the infinite game as made popular by Simon Sinek, but first introduced in a book by James Kars. And the infinite game is, is about looking at life in a very long time horizon. To do the most important work of your life, if your time horizon is today, it's not a lot of stuff you can achieve. If your time horizon is this year, you can achieve some more. But when you start to put a time horizon of 10, 15, 20, 30 years, in 30 years, that's the sort of time horizon that you can really move forward on some important problems. But those are the four things that need to be there in someone's life for them to be doing the most important work of their life. They're working on important problems, they're surrounded by great people, they know how to sell, they know how to get others to engage and understand the importance of their ideas, and they've got a long time horizon. They're not focused just on getting results in the short term today. They're willing to commit to the time it will take to make this difference. I remember years ago hearing a story from Jeff Bezos. Jeff, a number of years ago, looked, he wanted to do a freestanding handstand, be able to stand on his hands. And in California, he found a freestanding handstand coach and he called her 
and he said, I want to learn to do a freestanding handstand. Will you coach me? And she asked him, how long do you think it will take you to learn to do a freestanding handstand? And he thought for a little bit. He said, I'm pretty committed. This is something I've always wanted to do. Two to three weeks. And she said, now that's what we need to change before we can begin. It will take you six months in order to be able to do a freestanding handstand. And unless you commit to that length of time and truly accept that it will take that length of time, you're going to throw in the towel after two or three weeks when you're not feeling the results. And for many people, it's not having a realistic time horizon for what it will really take to get the results. In, in Vistage, when a new chair comes in and decides to build a business of coaching CEOs, we work with them to get them to commit that it will take one year for you to go through the journey of getting your group up and running. And until we can see that you really accept that it is going to be a journey of 365 days, it's too risky to begin. And you know, how do we fail to do the best work of our lives, the most important work of our lives? Number one, don't work on important things. Number two, don't surround yourself with great people. Number three, don't learn to communicate. Don't learn to put your work out there in a way that others can engage in it, that others can build on it, that others can see how it makes an impact to them. And don't work on long time horizons. Always think about what you can get done today. So with that, have a great week. Thank you very much for your likes, your comments, your subscribes, your sharing of these videos. Keeps me inspired to keep making them. Uh, spring is coming here in Barcelona. I hope things are good where you are. Uh, we're starting to see vaccines really making an impact in the US, in Israel, hopefully in Europe. We're going to start to see some movement on vaccines so that the COVID crisis can be behind us in the short term. Have a great one.